Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a will I buy it video where I talk about new makeup that's coming out. There are always so many new releases happening constantly that obviously I might be interested in a lot but only purchase a few. But I just wanna to talk to you guys about why I would or wouldn't purchase new products. Definitely leave it in the comments below what you think of these new releases and let's get into it. First up, I want to talk about Juvia's Place, which is a more affordable brand and you can find them on their website or at Target. At Target. And you can find them on their website or at Ulta. They are pretty good brands. I have only tried one of their eyeshadow palettes, but I was fully... I was fully invested in it. I really liked it. So they are coming out with a new nine pan palette. I love the packaging on this. I always love the girls that are pictured on the front of these eyeshadow palettes. And this one is no different. Plus I like the color. I think it's really interesting. This new eyeshadow palette is from their new The Tribe collection. The eyeshadow palette is going to be $20. So I'm assuming you'll be able to find this at Ulta. If not, it will definitely be on the Juvia's Place website. Now right off the bat I was kind of intrigued with this palette I really thought this palette looked really interesting and mainly I was like wow those first three top colors are pretty interesting the really bright yellow it kind of almost matches the packaging the orange and the green and then the other two rows are more neutral so I feel like the pops of color are the matte shadows on the top I think this palette looks really good I think it looks really interesting there isn't really a palette that I could say it resembles so I think that's also good just because the makeup world is so saturated that another palette that's like another one you know it's not needed so yeah I was excited to see this palette first off but when I think about it and I think about how I do my makeup the top row would give me some issues personally I'm not a huge color wearer for my eyeshadow like I have blue on my eyes today but it's it's kind of harder for me to figure out looks to make when it has like these like primary colors in it and things like that if that makes sense i don't know if i'm sure there are other people out there that are like me do i think this palette is for me probably not but it is a good price i do like the formula of their palette so if this looks really interesting to you and looks like a color pattern you're not intimidated to work with i would think about picking it up Next, I just wanted to throw in a little indie palette right here. It is by the Pigment Palace, and it is called the Modern Royalty Palette, and it's launching in December. This palette, the colors really don't interest me that much just because it's kind of, again, those primary colors that I have issues creating a look out of. But the packaging, I think it's really great. It's very inclusive i think that's the best word to describe it it has different women of ethnicity there is also you know a bald girl there is one in a wheelchair there's one more curvy there's ones really skinny tall short all those things so very inclusive packaging and i think for the most part you can find yourself in one of these girls on the packaging so like for me I most associate myself with the girl in the wheelchair. You might see yourself as the really tall, dark skinned girl with the purple hair, you know? So I think the packaging is very like inspiring. I'm sorry, I'm like having some, some issues with my throat. <laughs> We're just gonna work past it. So yes, I do think the packaging is amazing. I really think that more people need to be thinking about inclusivity when it, be, when it comes to makeup. So I am going to pass on the palette, but I really do like the package. Next, I want to talk about Ace Beauté. They are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called the Flare Palette. It has 16 shades, and it will be $38.99. For me, that's like mid-range for an eyeshadow palette. Like, it's not super expensive, but it's also not cheap either. So I could go back and forth on the price. The colors in this really interest me, though. So when I saw this palette, I was really really into it and i kind of still am this is actually a more indie brand so it's not mainstream or anything they come out with like the best color schemes for palettes personally my dog just opened the door but anyway uh so yeah i really think these colors are really pretty there's a mix of matte and shimmer so i like that as well just because i do use matte and shimmer and i find if one is more heavy or a total like shimmer or matte palette 
I don't use it as much. So I like that about it too. And I feel like eye looks could be created like in the different rows, you know? So the first row is like purpley and mauve. The second row is more warm. And then the bottom row is obviously more cool tones and bluish green. And there's that color again that the Juvia's Place packaging had. Might be the new color that everyone's gonna start using, but who knows? So yeah, I really have my eye on this palette. Like I said, I don't use a ton of color, so it might be a little difficult to create eyeshadow looks with, but I'm still interested in it. And like I said, the price isn't out of the question for me. So yeah, yeah, I'm really interested in this one. Huda Beauty is coming out with new melted shadows and they have a matte and metal side. So when you buy it, it has it's dual ended. So it will be a matte side and a like shimmery side. And these are going to be $25 each. So for two liquid eyeshadows, I don't think that's totally out of the question either. I do love a good liquid eyeshadow. I do love a nice glitter, you know, my Stila glitters. They're some of my favorites. So that really intrigues me. The only thing I worry about with these is the matte side. Because, like, I can get along with the glitter side. I know what to do with that. They're, they're eyeshadow toppers, you know? You top an eyeshadow look with it or you dab it in the middle. You could even use it as an inner corner highlight. At least that's the way I use them. But the matte side, I'm kind of confused about. I don't know if that's just my brain. But I'm like, what do you do with that? Like, put it all over your eyelid and then top it with the glitter, I suppose? I wouldn't be against trying these. Uh, so it, it's a definite maybe for me. I definitely am interested in trying it. I don't know if I'll definitely pick one up, but I think it's kind of interesting just because I don't think there are a lot of matte eyeshadow products, you know, other than like a ColourPop Super Shock or something like that. So that's definitely on my radar to keep an eye on. Next Milk Makeup is coming out with two new products that are going along in their Kush line they have the mascara which i like they have the brow product which i kind of want to try so they are also coming out with a lip balm and also a lip glaze so the lip balm is like an intense hydration lip balm and then the shine lip mask is a conditioning cannabis oil and it gives overnight hydration <laughs> Both of these products obviously have cannabis in them. That is what the Kush line is all about. It has the cannabis oil to help hydrate anything that you use that has that ingredient in it. I don't know, I am into lip balms just because I have very, very dry lips. I do like the Laneige Sleeping Mask, although I'm not opposed to trying a new lip treatment and not a new lip balm. Each of these are going to, well, the lip balm is going to be $16. And then the mask is 18, so not totally out of the question. Definitely not. So uh, yeah, I think that's I think that one's on my radar too. Physicians Formula is coming out with a few new products in their butter line. They are coming out with a copper cabana and beachy peach blush. So two different blushes. One is a little bit more deep, and one is a little bit more like a baby doll pink. And they have like a sheen to them. They're not like matte blushes and also they are coming out with a sculpting bronzer so i guess another butter bronzer because i know they do have three shades of it already maybe this is more of a contour color i'm not sure so i think the more deeper blush out of the two would be the one i would most be interested in the copper cabana just because baby pink cheeks lips i'm not a big baby pink fan you know so that's not my preference so i would definitely go with the top blush i do have one of the blushes but it is more matte so i would be interested in trying like a more like sheeny blush in this formula because i think it smells good i, I think the formula is good so i'm kind of interested in that but i do have a butter bronzer so i'm not really interested in another one but if you're interested in those I would say they're a good buy and they're obviously not going to be that expensive. They're a drugstore price. All right, so next up, Sephora Collection is coming out with a collab. Is this the first collab they've done? I don't really know. And it is with Olivia Jade and it is a bronze and illuminate palette. So that sounds right up my alley. I love a good highlight. It says it has five highlighting shades and one matte bronzing shade for $28. I don't really know why there's only one like bronzing shade just because i feel like a couple of these highlighters would only be able to be worn as an actual cheek highlight 
for someone who has a deeper skin tone. So I don't know if they should have added like a one lighter or one darker or something, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so a few of these look really, really pretty for the, like the highlights, but I kind of think the bronzing shade for me would be a little bit deep. So yeah, some of these shades I think would work for me and they look really, really pretty on their swatch. But two of the highlighters definitely wouldn't. And I'm not so sure about the bronzer. I think it would be a little deep for me. So while I think this is, you know, a good concept. Also, face palettes are not my favorite. Like, I like maybe a couple. But it, it's not the main thing that gets, you know, my heart racing, you know. If, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to pick it up. First Aid Beauty is releasing a new moisturizer. And it is called the Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. And it comes in a little tub and it's going to be $30. Now... I'm a little bit, you know, I guess confused because they have their Ultra Repair Cream, which is in a tub and I think you can get it in a tube as well. So I don't know what the difference is with this one in particular. It definitely looks more like a gel moisturizer and it kind of looks illuminating as well. So I don't know if this would be good for under makeup or anything. But the thing about it is First Aid Beauty is not like... A brand I resonate with like I've tried the ultra repair cream and I just felt like it didn't do very much maybe if you had like oily skin it would be better because I have dry skin and then also I have tried their cleanser and I didn't like that either like the smell the whole like experience of it I didn't really like this one however it does look interesting just because it's like more of a gel moisturizer and I like to use those under my makeup more so than at night just for my dry skin and it looks like really illuminating and that's up my alley so i think i'm gonna wait on you know like reviews either online or on youtube or whatever to see what people are saying because i'm really interested to see what other people are saying but uh i'm not gonna rush out and get it uh, i'm gonna say that becca is coming out with another trio kind of compact and i'm confused <laughs> And I'm not the only one because I've seen other people talk about this and they're confused too. So, Becca, what uh, what are you doing? What are you doing here? And it's called the Australia Ocean Glow. This is the picture of it. Are you confused? I'm sure you are. It has a bronzer and then like a blush or maybe like a highlight on a deeper skin tone. And then more of like an icy kind of highlight. So, if I try to get... Icy highlight. I'm gonna get the bronzer and then like how am I gonna get the bronzer? Because it's in such a concentrated area that I feel like only an eyeshadow brush would be able to get into it I'm confused. I love you Becca like your bronzer your highlighters Your primers, but but something went wrong here pretty much. I'm confused. <laughs> I Don't have much more to say than I'm confused How is this going to work if you? No way to get this to work. Please, please help me in the comments. Because I am so confused. Kathleen Lights and ColourPop are coming out with another collab. There's going to be a lip bundle and also Super Shock shadows. In the lip bundle, there's a couple glosses. There's also an ultra satin and also an ultra matte lip. And then you have the shadow for some. And it will be available December 12th. But I have to say their lip products are not my favorite. I do have a gloss from the collaboration with uh, Makeup Shayla, and I really do like it, but I just don't get along with their other lip products. I really don't. I'm, I'm just not a fan, you know? And I'm also not a fan of the Super Shock eyeshadows. I've had many in the past. Some of them dried up. Some of them I just decluttered. I mean, I liked a couple of her collab Super Shock shadows, but... These are just not for me. Also, they're like really pink, all of them, and I don't wear a lot of pink. So there's that as well. So the formulas just aren't for me, but if you like to support YouTubers, I would definitely look into this one. And if you definitely like more affordable makeup, because ColourPop is like the queen of affordable. Lastly, I just want to touch on a, this makes me giggle. Uh, I want to touch on an indie brand called Glamlight. They are coming out with a pizza palette it's a pizza it's a pizza palette and this immediately made me think of kelsey because she is like that's her favorite meal is pizza and all the names of these are really cute it has like pizza referenced names so it's really it's just really cute and um 
moving on from there though for me i've seen like swatches of it it looks great like i think it's a really cute concept but like all the colors are kind of more like brown tones and then there's like a couple pops of color i don't know the colors just do not speak to me but i like the idea i like this concept i like the pizza theme you know i like a good pizza too you know that's one of the meals i like to eat a lot so if you haven't tried this brand which i haven't I would look into this palette. If you like pizza, look into this palette. If you like more neutrals, look into this palette. I'm personally not gonna pick it up, but I just thought it was really, actually just really different than what I've seen from, you know, pretty much a lot of other brands. It's different where you can use it, whereas like that Becca product was different to the fact that you probably couldn't use it that, that well, you know? So that's what I think about that, but that's going to wrap up the video. All right guys, so that is the end of this Will I Buy It video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoy my channel, please subscribe down below. I would love for you to stick around and I will see you next time. Bye.